Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be a new Will I Buy It? This is the series that I post every single Wednesday. I'm gonna chat with you over some new makeup releases, give my thoughts on them, and if I plan to pick them up or if I'm gonna pass over them. I'll link my playlist down below. I also do always link the community playlist. I started that so any new creator who makes a style of video can add theirs to the playlist. I did wanna to say too, if you are a creator and you have reached out to me and I've sent you the link for that playlist, um, I have been getting some messages from people. I pinned this in my comment last week but just in case you didn't see it I've been getting some messages from people saying that they're having issues adding their videos to the playlist but if they went back to their email and clicked on that original link then their access came back um, I know YouTube has been doing a lot of updates on the back end like our creator studio and all of that so we're not sure if maybe that's what kind of like reset the playlist I'm not sure um, so if you are a new creator and you're interested in getting added to the playlist you can always email me um, or if you need that link again feel free to email me but if you're having some issues try to go back to your original email from me and click that link <laughs> okay just wanted to mention that because I've been getting a lot of comments and messages and emails and everything and I want to make sure that the playlist can still stay up and going since uh, a lot of people are still making the new releases videos which is always so much fun um but let's go ahead and jump into it i did want to say that i did film this look for instagram so if that's not going up today it'll at least be up by tomorrow but i think it should be going up really soon so um i will link it down below i do a lot of tutorials over on my instagram which is march beauty word and this is using a few products actually from the pure and trolls collaboration so i used the rock palette for this and then also their face palette and lip gloss so i do a little tutorial with these products over there um so yeah that'll be on my instagram if you're interested in seeing how i did this look <laughs> Okay, I was trying to slide over in my chair and I got stuck. I don't know what that, so let's not make any comments. I don't know what that meant. <laughs> Starting off, I feel like this week might be a pretty short week and there's not a whole lot that really catches my eye, but I'll at least tell you about the new releases. Uh, I will have a Sephora haul coming soon. I have placed two different Sephora orders. <laughs> In my defense, the, the second order I placed were products that I wanted to get in the first order. They were sold out, but then they came back. So then I placed another order. So that happened. So as soon as I get them, I know shipping is delayed, but I think mine is already shipped out. So hopefully um, I will get it soon. And as soon as I have those boxes, I will film a haul and share with you what I picked up in the sale. And I also do, I had like a little mini haul in my recommendations video. And I do a try on video with those that went up last week. So I can link that one uh, up here in the cards if you want to check that one out because that did go up last week. But um, so it's okay. Like after I place some orders, you know, if I if makeup isn't really catching my attention, it's all right because I have new makeup that I want to play with coming very soon. But I did want to talk about Tower 28 Beauty. Who, where, what, how, where, where? Hmm. How I managed to... I, I feel like I really haven't even heard much about the brand, but I was watching recommendations videos and so many people were recommending them and people were asking me if I was gonna try another products and I was like, what? I gotta check this out. Um, but I'm reading off the Trend Mood One Instagram and they um, the feature on here was the bronzer illuminating cream. Uh, inspired by that moment when the sun sets over the ocean, it's a bronzer balm made with mineral pigment and skin loving ingredients like mango butter, green tea, uh, and it's supposed to give you an illuminating, natural looking all over sun kiss glow it's $20 and there is two different shades so tower 28 beauty on the Sephora website they have the bronzer they have a cream blush slash lip uh, they have a highlighting balm they had a lip product and I think there was a spray on there too I ended up grabbing sneak peek of my haul because who knows when those boxes will come in but I did end up grabbing a blush I don't even like cream products that much, but I was like, okay, it's between the blush and the bronzer, but I ordered another bronzer and I somehow managed to only order one bronzer when I had like six on my loves list. I ended up just going with one, uh, but I just thought that I would mention the brand. Have you tried anything from them or what would you recommend? Like, what are you loving from them? Please do uh, let us know, but I am excited to try out the blush that is coming to me. <laughs> and then speaking of bronzers, I did see this on the Sephora website that Tarte has a, I think this this is a new bronzer it says new so there's that um but this is their sea breezy cream bronzer this one is 29 dollars. they do have a mini size but it looks like that one is sold out 
It says a waterproof buildable cream bronzer that applies effortlessly for the perfect just back from the beach glow. Okay, so definitely I feel like a lot of cream, like a, there's a lot of like cream products happening right now, which I'm trying more and more. So that's exciting. I also um, recently got the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. I used this one in my last Friday, last Friday's Get Ready With Me video. I'm actually really liking this one. So, you know, I'm trying. I'm trying to be on that train. You never know what's going to happen. I just, now I got, come on, ride the train and ride it, choo-choo. Anyways, back to the Tarte bronzer. I'm not going to purchase this one for myself since I did just pick up a new bronzer also, but I was scrolling through the Sephora website and I saw it, so I thought that I would mention it. Uh, but also from Tarte, I was getting some tags that they are coming out with a new concealer. This is the Hydro Sealer. Hydro Sealer Concealer. Got it. Medium coverage concealer with proprietary Hydroflux technology. I just want to like uh, flex. Uh, $24 special offer includes a blending sponge on QVC. There you go. In 30 shades, fresh and natural radiant finish. Okay, I've gotten a lot of tags. It does say it's coming soon on the website and Sephora, but it's available now on QVC. I've been getting a lot of tags and people asking if I would want to try this one out. I just got also the new Hourglass Vanish Concealer, and I just purchased the new one from Dose of Colors. I purchased that when Dose of Colors website was having a sale along with three of their sponges. Yellow. I don't really feel like I need another new concealer, so I'm I'm I, I didn't place an order for this one in my Sephora order because I would really like to try the two new concealers that I got and test them out and be able to give my review and all of that. But if you're interested in that Tarte concealer, do let us know. Uh, okay, I thought this one was kind of interesting. Uh, moving over to some drugstore, to a drugstore release. I got a lot of tags on this one from Maybelline. This is available now on Amazon. This is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Liquid Foundation, but it's now in a new pouch packaging. So it's perfect for use at home or on the go. I don't really know where I'm sure this product was in place for a while but it's just kind of funny to read like on the go like if you're gonna go to the windows to the walls you now got a pouch foundation so that's great <laughs> it's $7.99 for 1.3 fluid ounces so it features a new optimized spout for the perfect application every time use it up to the last drop okay so the Matte and Poreless Liquid Foundation, I have tried that from Maybelline. It's been a very, very long time. I think that was one because there was like the Dewy and Poreless, something along those lines. I feel like I liked the Dewy one more versus the Matte, but I've had very dry skin, especially I remember at the time of like doing this, like very, very dry skin. So usually mattifying foundations just weren't the best for me. Um... But I don't know if I really, like, what do you guys feel about the pouch? Because I went through and I looked at the comments just to see what people were saying. And some people were like, no, this would, like, puncture in my purse and spill everywhere, which that would be my fear. Um, especially because sometimes when I put things in my purse, it's like a black hole. Like, it never comes back out. And I'm like, oh, no. Uh, and so, but other people were saying that they loved it and they thought it would be so convenient. I just don't know what I think. I like seeing different things. I like I like different, I like some unique ideas. I just don't know if this would be great for me. I don't, I'm very curious to hear your thoughts. I don't love, I, that wasn't a favorite foundation of mine so I wouldn't purchase it because you know, the foundation wouldn't work out for me personally. The next couple of releases kind of confused me because these two posts went up back to back on Trend Mood and I, I figured that they would be from the same brand, but they're not. Um, so first up, we have Beauty Bakery is coming out with new brushes. This is the Eye Cream Paint Job by Beauty Bakery. It includes five brushes with the cutest apron brush roll case. Oh, I was like, an apron? I don't know about that. I'm not really, an apron isn't really in my OOTD, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Yikes. This is the eye cream paint job. So I think the brushes look super cute and they have like the end is like, you know, fun. But I don't know. I feel like the brushes might also drive me crazy with the things at the end. I don't know if I would like that as much. I don't know. But I think this is super cute. Like to my eye, it is very, very pleasing. And I think that it's very fun. I like that it's only five brushes. And I feel like I would use each brush. But again, I'm not sure what the things on the end. Like the one has a little whisk. That's so cute. 
uh, but I just don't know I, I just don't know if I would love it you know but I do think that it's very cute um, but then next up we have new releases from P. Louise and something about it I thought this was Beauty Bakery as well I don't know if it's just like with the light pink aesthetic to it and kind of like the the food baking thing I, I'm not really sure but we have the sandwich stages designed to simplify the process of building up stages to your makeup with four palettes all designed for required areas of an application. For example, you have a palette of transition shades, first blend, second blend, and lid shade. Okay, so we have, we also have crisp finish, which is five new paint shades with a brush. Also oh beautiful is a new brow gel and creamy brow pencil. Looks like it'll be available in the next month or so. I'm not sure I absolutely would need that though, but again, packaging really cute on everything and everything is making me hungry so kudos to these makeup brands for making me want to snack all day because I already have that urge and now they're just giving it to me more I actually haven't tried anything from P. Louise I know a lot of people love their like eye bases that's just not something that I really use a lot myself so I've actually never tried anything from them but um you'll you'll definitely have to let us know what you think honestly I just like want to look at the promo pictures I think that those are very beautiful okay uh let's see here moving on what else do we got oh, i thought this was interesting this is from sunday riley they're coming out with a hair product okay so sunday riley is really well known for skincare they tried with foundation and i think they ended up pulling the foundation i don't think it was available any longer um i tried it it was the influencer foundation and i didn't like it but now they have a hair product so let's see um, this is the Clean Rinse, a clarifying scalp scrub, an AHA BHA infused rinse off serum to clarify the scalp of product buildup, excess oil, dead skin, and pollution for cleaner, healthier looking scalp and refreshed hair. And it's forty eight dollars. So it's so funny because it's like as I'm reading the first part of that, it kind of sounds like. Um, like a skincare product, so that's interesting. Um, I like the packaging on it. I like the bottle and all of that. I don't need it right now though. I do have my Olaplex hair mask that I'm pretty faithful to. Um, I actually just used that one yesterday. And then I also just got the scalp scrub thing from Drunk Elephant. I'm blanking on the name. Um, <laughs> you know, going like this. I just got that one from Drunk Elephant. So I'm trying to use that to test it out. But then I also like, I really do love my Olaplex mask. So I'm still using that. So I don't need it at this time. Um, you know, I would, if people say that they really love it and they feel like they really notice a difference with it, like maybe I could try it out down the road. But at this time, uh, I just don't really feel like I need it. And I only wash my hair like twice a week. So, you know. We got a little bit of a sneak peek that Wayne Goss is coming out with his own cosmetics line. So Wayne Goss Cosmetics, uh, it just says coming soon. Um, we can see some sneak peeks of the packaging. It's going to be available on Beautylish, which I'm not surprised. I feel like, yeah, because Wayne Goss is available on Beautylish because I got his 05 pencil brush in my Beautylish Lucky Bag, which honestly, I know pencil brushes like they don't get talked about the most out of all of the brushes that we have, but dang, his pencil brush is really, really nice, <laughs> to be honest. But uh, I'm not surprised to see him coming out the line. I'm actually kind of surprised that it's just now happening, but um, that's very, that's very exciting. And I'll definitely be on the lookout for what it is that he's releasing. Again, we don't have like full details of anything yet, but um, but yeah, that's very exciting. So definitely just wanted to mention that we got that little sneak peek in there. Uh, let's see, Glossier is coming out with uh, a new hand cream. So I feel like this is, a lot of us are really looking for hand creams right now because of how often we're washing our hands or using sanitizer or things like that. Uh, but this is their supercharged moisture in a palm sized pod with sleek, cur sleek curves and 360 squeeze packaging. It's $18. Fast absorbing, nutrient rich moisturizers nourished without a greasy feel. Okay, so that is available now on the Glossier website. Um, I don't feel like I need it right now. I've I think that I'm pretty like at this moment anyways like stocked up on like my lotions and hand creams and all of that honestly hand creams are something that I need to do better at applying um, I feel like I'm not always the best at it and sometimes you can see it in my hands but I'm also trying to make sure that I keep protecting my hands with SPF so <laughs> just 
just like so much going on right now. I do think it's nice to see him coming out with this product. I think it's something that people are looking for right now. So if you are in need of a hand cream, that could be an option for you from Glossier. So speaking of the hand cream, I wanted to touch on two brands that are offering kind of like beyond beauty at the moment but uh Ofer cosmetics has a wellness set out and this includes hand sanitizer hand cream a disinfectant spray and their cleansing wipes that is uh 25 dollars for all four or you can also get their hand sanitizer separately they have a uh, more of a full size they have a mini guy they have um cloth masks that are available to purchase as well if you don't have a mask they have reusable straws on the website so it's just it's really great to see that they were able to you know obviously continue to put out their own products and the makeup and beauty and all of that but um because they have their own lab and factory and warehouse and all of that everything is in south florida um and they're able to make products and, and new products and, and make them quickly uh, i thought it was really great to see them coming out with some of those so i definitely wanted to touch on that because i know a lot of these products are really hard to find in our stores right now like i can't even find dish detergent right now uh, i'm trying not to take that as a sign to not do our dishes because it feels like all i'm doing every day is dishes not great it's just hard to find things in store so i definitely wanted to mention that if that's something that you're looking for and then also define me they are a, a fragrance perfume company i have a lot of their perfumes that i really enjoy they are also able to uh, be making hand sanitizer right now and it's actually in like their perfume jars so you have like a spray jar of hand sanitizer and those are running for 15 dollars on the website i have one of those that i keep in my purse and you know if i'm out and about and i can't be somewhere to like wash my hands i can at least use some hand sanitizer and not touch my face until you're back and you're able to actually wash your hands but wanted to mention both of those because I know those products are harder to find right now so I definitely will link them in my description box what else do we have let's see fresh is coming out with a new lip cream I feel like a lot of lip creams are coming out too I feel like last week I talked about some the week before I think I had like multiple in a video but also fresh like one of the first products i ever tried from fresh beauty was their lip treatments so i feel like they're kind of like like they really are well known for these but they have a new addition to the rose family the rose petal soft lip cream locks lips in deep hydration to leave them feeling silky soft and smooth and this is 24 dollars. be available april 28th online at fresh beauty and sephora i will say looking at this on the trend mood site it looks very like Oh, it's very nice for my lips. I don't think that I need it. I feel like I'm pretty stacked up on my lip products at the time. I do also get some PR from Fresh, so I don't know if I would get this new lip balm. If I do, I could definitely try it out and let you guys know what I think. I kind of have my favorites right now that I go back to and I continually um, recommend, but you know, if I get it, I can definitely try it out, but I don't feel like I need to go buy it for myself at this moment. Uh, let's see. Okay. I've been having like camera difficulties. So if you see me looking at my viewfinder a lot, I'm trying to look at the time because my camera all of a sudden it will no longer let me import videos that are over like the eight to 10 minute mark. So I'm trying to like film these in like quick clips so I can still import and not have to refilm anything. So that's why I keep like jerking up and looking at the viewfinder because I'm not used to having to do this and it's causing me a lot of stress, but it's okay. We're trying, we're we're just doing our best. <laughs> that Lime Crime is coming out with new shades in their freckle pens. So I think they had a freckle pen in the past, but maybe it was only in one shade. And now they're coming out with a medium brown and also a brown. These are $18 each. A pen that creates freckles to create naturally gorgeous... I'm going to add some more. To create a naturally gorgeous complexion without having to step into the sunshine. Easy to use felt tip applicator. <laughs> uh, okay, so I... I think the faux freckle trend is like super cute and fun. I don't feel like I pull it off very well. I've tried it in different ways. I've tried it with brow pencils like the MAC Shape and Shades. I've tried it with like using a spoolie to scrape um, some product and like tapping it over my face, you know? I don't feel like I do it in the most natural way like i feel like it looks really obvious that i tried to do fake freckles but you know what you know sometimes we just gotta try different things and see if it works and see if it doesn't work no harm no foul 
Um, so I probably don't need a specific pen because it's just not something that I do a lot. But if you like, if this is something you do very often, maybe a freckle pen is something that would benefit you. Speaking of makeup that will make me hungry, uh, Glamlight, who are like the CEOs of making food palettes at this moment, they're coming out with the Street Taco Palette. This is $22. Mm, that just made me sad for some reason. Inspired by the delicious Mexican dish, includes the most traditional and mouthwatering toppings as shades, such as guacamole, carne asada, el pastor, carnitas, pico de gallo. I can't really do an accent, so I'll, like, I'll try not to do that because, yikes. Um, but includes 10 shades, 6 mattes, 1 duo chrome, and 3 shimmers. If I didn't say, it's $22. So Glamlight has come out with a lot of these food palettes, which is definitely is super fun, but I don't know, none of them have really caught my attention that much. Um, the taco palette just definitely makes me really hungry for tacos, for nachos. I'm kind of hungry for nachos every day, so that's not really like that shocking. Colors inside look pretty, like the shade names, you know, all like, like, but the Pico de Gallo shade looks really funny, and I don't even like Pico de Gallo, so, you know, there's that. Um... But I don't feel like I need it, so I don't know. The food palettes also at the same time don't really pull me in. Like I said, they just make me hungry. <laughs> okay, I do also see some new palettes from Morphe. I'm kind of surprised that these are smaller palettes because I feel like their last several, I mean that's kind of like what Morphe's known for, but I feel like their last several have been really, really large palettes. But these are each nine pans. So we have the 9W Smoke and Shadow Artistry Palette and also the 9V Vintage Rose Artistry Palette. Um, so they both look really nice. I like that they're more of the nine pan style, but I don't need any new eyeshadow palettes at the moment and really Morphe hasn't caught my attention in a while. So I will be passing over those. Okay. Let's see. What else do we have this week? Um, I see a new spray from CoverGirl. Uh, this is available at Ulta. The clean, fresh prep and set water mist to hydrate, prep and refresh skin, $9.99 and three sets rose three cents rose cucumber and citrus sounds nice I don't feel like I have to use it I did use my Scandinavia uh, finishing spray today and I was very proud of that if you caught my farewell tour video on Monday I was talking about products that like I need to say goodbye to it's just so hard for me so I'm giving them a farewell tour because they deserve it and I'm really proud that I remember to use my Scandinavia spray today so I really just need to use that up and then I'll just feel better with life. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do that. Yes, yes, yes I am. So I'm going to pass over that one from CoverGirl. I see Mario Badescu is coming out with a new product. This is also available at Ulta, the Hyaluronic Dew Cream. Replenish the skin with a light botanical infused hydration. Uh, it has sodium hyaluronate for maximum moisturizer without heaviness. It's an oil-free moisturizer to leave skin looking fresh and dewy. And it's going to be $26. You know, I never was able to really get into Mario Badescu products. They were really, really hyped up when I was, like, first really starting to pay attention to YouTube and buy a lot of products based off of YouTuber recommendations. And I just couldn't get into Mario Badescu very much. So um, I'm going to pass over this. I actually have... I, mm, I held some more skincare that's going to be coming up. I bought some more skincare that I'm going to haul coming up and I'm excited to show you guys what I got. I got people to blame for that, okay? I got people, I got, I got some friends to blame for what I, per what I picked up in my next Sephora haul, all right? And I'm going to be calling out names, let me tell you. Be scared. Be shaking in your boots, friends. I saw this as well on the Sephora website. This is from Siate London. It says that it's new and it's a dewy blush. So this is the Glossy Cheek Tint. It's $22. Looks like it has three different shades. It says a gel balm tinted blush that adds the perfect amount of color with a modern glass-like sheen. Okay, so I actually have like a regular powder blush from Siate London and I do like it. Uh... I don't, you know, I don't gravitate towards this because it's more of like that liquid cream, which I don't go for very often. And I did pick up another blush from Tower 28 that you will see coming up. So I'm probably not going to grab this one right away, but I know a lot of people, especially it seems like right now, cream and liquid products are super, super in. So I just wanted to mention it in case that you hadn't seen it because I haven't seen it posted anywhere else. I just saw it when I was browsing this for our website. So 
thought I would point that one out from Seattle, London. Lastly, I just see a few new products that are spotlighted on Trend Mood at the Sephora website. The Way Detox Shampoo, which is $30. I have talked about that in the past. Um, I'm not in the market right now for a new shampoo. But also, Josie Moran is coming out with the Pineapple Enzyme Pore Clearing Cleanser. This is $28. It says a clean daily face wash with active pineapple enzymes to help clear and smooth congested and rough skin. Uh, a lot of people are seeming to be interested in that one. I've gotten a couple messages about that one, um, like directly about the Josie Moran. I haven't tried a lot from that brand. Uh, I did just pick up some new skincare. It also, when I saw like pineapple enzyme kind of reminded me of the Wishful Skin, their pineapple enzyme scrub. I can't ever... Th there's there's too many words in that in that name um but the one from the huda beauty i've been trying out that one and i really do like it and they sound like kind of similar i also recently got the good molecules pineapple powder exfoliating powder thing so like uh, there's a lot of pineapple and skincare going on right now um or pineapple enzyme i should say so that's fantastic but I've if you try that one definitely let me know what you think but i did haul a new cleanser that will be coming up <laughs> From Kula, we have the Full Spectrum 360 Refreshing Water Mist Organic Face Sunscreen SPF 18 for $36. Uh, I just got a lot of uh, SPFs. I did haul the Sephora Sun Safety Kit, so I feel like I'm pretty stocked up on my SPF at this moment, which is fantastic. And then from Innisfree, they have the Cherry Blossom Dewy Glow Mist for $18. A glow enhancing a fine mist infused with a blend of cherry blossom leaf extract, niacinamide to visibly brighten, hydrate, and refresh skin. Hmm, so would you wear that over makeup or under makeup? Because some of those products are kind of more skincare. Like I'm thinking, like especially niacinamide. So maybe you put that on before? Because I'm not sure if it would really do much if you put it on after your makeup. Um, but again, I don't need a lot of sprays right now or more skincare because I have more coming to my collection. I need to do a skincare declutter. Would you guys want to see a skincare declutter or is that like not interesting? I, I need to do a skincare purge is what I need to do. Not just a declutter purge. <laughs> um, but so I'm probably gonna skip over that one. Uh, after that though, I think that is everything for this week. Let me just like pop on just yeah, okay, that's gonna be everything for this week. So definitely uh, let me know what you thought of all the products that I mentioned. Stay tuned for my haul. I will try to film that as quickly as I do get in my Sephora packages. Um, so stay tuned for that. That will be coming soon. Other than that, though, if you guys did enjoy this video, I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up. I hope that you'll also consider subscribing before you go. And I will see you in my next video.